Alexis. I'm coming at you today with the book Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babbage. Is that how you say it? Yes. Just had to make sure. Okay, basically, let me ask you this question. Would you wish for eternal life? Just think about that for a second. And I would say just think about that during the whole book when you read it. Because if you don't, you're definitely mess missing out. I think this book is definitely a great book because... It reads a little bit younger, not super young like a picture book, but it does have a little bit of a younger spin on it. Not that the characters are super young, it's just more of a book you would read in middle school. And if you are in middle school, or any age really, and you just want to read it, then that's fine. I mean, there's always something to learn in every single book. But this book definitely brings a sense of majesty, like, just being magical i'm gonna say that because that's a better word majesty anyways it definitely brings that sense in the book and i just think it's kind of cool because this book is definitely very figurative you can definitely imagine a lot of the things like for each chapter when i read this i made a whole story map i'm not even joking of each thing because the figurative language in this book is so descriptive and it just really made me want to read more. Plus, there is also a movie I read after the book. Again, a great comparison between, you know, two different things, a movie and a book. And I think it's just so cool how the writers interpreted this book and how the readers interpreted this book because they made the movie. So you should watch it. Bye.